how to delete all viruses on iPhone. Hey everyone, today we're tackling a concerning issue, viruses on your iPhone. In this video, I'll guide you through a comprehensive series of steps to help you identify and remove any potential viruses from your iPhone. Before we dive in, let's address a common misconception. iPhones are less susceptible to viruses compared to Android devices, but they are not entirely immune. Okay, so let's get started. Viruses can manifest in various ways, such as expected pop-ups, excessive battery drain, unusual app behavior, and data breaches. Now, let's explore how to identify and remove potential viruses from your iPhone. Go to Settings on your iPhone. Scroll down to the very bottom and tap on Apps. Here, search for Safari. Open it. Scroll down and tap on Clear History and Website Data. Confirm your action in the pop-up. This step will remove all browsing history, cookies, and website data from Safari, potentially eliminating any viruses or malware associated with your browsing activity. Now check iCloud Drive. Go back to Settings. Tap on your Apple ID at the very top of the screen. Tap on iCloud. Here tap on iCloud Drive. Select Manage Storage. Scroll down and select Review Files. Review the list of apps and documents stored in your iCloud Drive. Look for any suspicious files or documents that you don't recognize. In iCloud Drive, tap on Delete Data from iCloud. Confirm your action in the pop-up. This step will remove all files and documents stored in your iCloud Drive, including any potentially malicious files. Go back. Here, select iCloud Backup. Tap on Backup Now. Try Monitor App Behavior. Pay close attention to how your apps are behaving. Look for any unusual activity, such as apps crashing frequently, draining battery excessively, or displaying unexpected advertisements. If you notice any suspicious behavior, try uninstalling the app and reinstalling it from the App Store. Check for software updates. Ensure your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. Go to Settings again, scroll a bit down and tap General. Then hit Software Update. If an update is available, download and install it. Software updates often include security patches that address known vulnerabilities and can help prevent and remove malware. If the previous steps don't resolve the issue, you may need to resort to a more drastic measure, a factory reset. Before proceeding, make sure your iPhone is backed up to iCloud or iTunes. This will ensure you have a copy of your data, including contacts, photos, and messages. Within the general settings, scroll down and tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap on Erase All Content and Settings. You will be prompted to enter your Apple ID password or Face ID. Confirm your decision by tapping on Erase iPhone. This will erase all data and settings from your iPhone and restore it to its original factory condition. After the erase process is complete, you can restore your iPhone from the backup you created earlier. This will restore your data while hopefully removing any lingering viruses. If you continue to experience issues after trying these steps, consider contacting Apple support for further assistance. Apple Support can provide specialized troubleshooting assistance and help you determine the cause of the problem. And that's it. I hope this comprehensive guide helps you effectively remove any potential viruses from your iPhone. Remember, prevention is key. Download apps only from the official App Store. Be cautious about clicking on unknown links or downloading files from untrusted sources. Keep your iPhone and iOS software updated to the latest version as updates often include security patches. Be mindful of the permissions you grant to apps. Only grant apps the necessary permissions to function properly. By following these tips and taking proactive measures, you can significantly reduce the risk of encountering malware on your iPhone. If you have any questions or run into any problems, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more iPhone tips and tricks.
Thanks for watching and have a great day.